the best leveling strat in the game has returned, but for a limited time. Just pretend it's a burger at your favorite fast food joint, alright? Let's get the elephant out of the room right away. The reason my voice sounds terrible is because I'm very sick, unfortunately, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys anyway because Master King's Fall is next week, which means some people might want to level up a bit so you don't get stopped in a 1600 activity in case you want to do Master King's Fall for, you know, adept weapons or the seal, whatever it may be. So we're here talking about the newest leveling strat, or an old leveling strat, I guess, technically. For those that don't know, the Disgrace Strat used to be the best leveling strat in the game, at least for non-Moon Defense Force AFK people, anyway. Brief history, basically, you would go into the Disgraced Strike from the Directory straight in, and then you'd be able to complete, like, 40 bounties in a single go, effectively giving you, like, 10 plus levels a day in a matter of 90 minutes or so. Unfortunately, Bu uh, Bungie said we can't have fun, and they butchered the Vanguard bounties, for whatever reason it may be, and they changed them to say, has to be done in a Vanguard playlist, for most of them. Don't know why, most of them say Vanguard playlist, a few of them say strikes or Vanguard playlist, particularly uh, enemy race weapon kills, so like Fallen, Hive, etc. Don't know why those are divided, but whatever. And then some of them just straight up say, do this literally anywhere. It, it, makes, it makes no sense, I will die in this hill. Makes no sense, clap. Anyway, let's move on. So... The, the Disgrace Strat was dead, however, this season it has returned, and that is because it is this week's Nightfall, and also, three of the six strikes this season in the Nightfall rotation take place in the Cosmodrome, so technically speaking, you could do this during three of the six weeks in rotation for the Conqueror Seal of the season, so here you go, in case you don't have yours unlocked, the rotation is Glassway, Lightblade, Fallen Saber, which is Cosmodrone, Disgraced, which is right now, Exodus Crash, and then finally Devil's Lay, which again is Cosmodrome. So three of the six weeks here, you'll be able to do this strat and level up very quickly daily while putting in very minimal effort and almost no time at all. Like I said, you can get 10 plus levels in about 90 minutes and that's going at a slow pace. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to head to the tower first. You're going to talk to Cue Ball over here. You're going to go to the bounty board and pick up all the daily bounties. Then, for the repeatable bounties, the only thing you're going to want to avoid is enemy race kills that are not Fallen or Hive, because those are obviously not in the Cosmodrome Strikes. So, like Cabal, you just avoid that, delete it, pick up a different one. Additionally, I personally would avoid something like 25 super kills because that is way too much of an investment to, you know, charge like 3-4 supers in a strike and then find enough enemies to get 25 kills of them. That's a little annoying. I would avoid that. Other than that, everything else is on the board. So, for example, I'm going to show you my bounty board right here. I have Finisher, Scout, SMG, Arc, GL, uh, Random Combatants, Multi Kills with your Super. So, that's only two Supers, or in some cases, one Super if you have a roaming one. Melees and Finisher. All super generic, super easy. That's what I would pick up at Zavala. Then, let me just pick this up right here. Then you would head over to uh, Banshee over here, and for Banshee, it literally does not matter what he has. You could pick up absolutely every single bounty, and it won't matter. The reason for this is because while it's a vast array of weapon kills, you can pull out weapons from your collections to get everything done. So the daily today is Scout, GL, uh, Heavy GL, and Arc Weapon. So for an example, I can go in my collections, go to Scouts, I know that I need Arc Kills and Scout Kills, so I can just go pull out a random blue scout, that's arc, and then bam, I have a two-for-one ready to go. You're going to notice a lot of these two-for-one themes in all the bounties after I pick all of them up, and I'll show you towards the end. So the idea is you pick up nine Zavala bounties, then nine Banshee bounties, then we're going to head to the helm real quick. Okay, so why are you in the helm? So for the star chart, which is this season's uh, seasonal vendor, the bounties actually state you can get kills anywhere on most of them. So, for example, defeat targets with arc final blows. Yes, you get more progress if you're in Expedition of Catch Crash, but we don't care about that. We can just pick this up, and we're going to tally it on top of the Vanguard and the Banshee Bounties we already have, because why not? Remember how I mentioned arc kills with Scout just a couple minutes ago? Bam, there you go. Easily uh, stacked on. Now, obviously, this one is only Expedition Catch Crash, so we can't take that. But then we have defeat targets with Glaive, so bam, we'll pick that up. 
and defeat Cabal. Now, obviously, like, Disgrace doesn't have Cabal in it, but if you want a freebie, a bounty, when you're just going somewhere else in the solar system, you could pick that up too, just for, uh, just for shits and giggles. And then, we're gonna go to, uh, the Fortnite guy in the Cosmodrome real quick, so let's cut to that. So the best part about picking up bounties from Fortnite Man over here is, obviously, we're gonna complete it in the Strike, but the bounties are also incredibly, incredibly easy. Like, these are all starter bounties, and you will get these done passively just by doing the other bounties. So 20 precision kills, 5 grenade kills, 3 super kills, 10 energy kills. Very, very basic and super easy to complete. The only ones you want to avoid when over here is a public event bounty that sometimes spawns here. Just don't pick it up. And then in the additionals, you want to avoid a patrol bounty. I'll say, like, complete 3 patrols. Avoid that because, obviously, you won't be in patrol while you're in a strike. Other than that, you can pick up literally any other bounty, and they'll get completed very easily and passively. So we're going to take all these bounties and head into the Nightfall, which is the Disgrace this week. What you want to do as a general concept idea is look at your bounties, and the first thing I would do is look at your Banshee bounties and see what weapons you have. So I have SMG, Shoddy, LMG, Sidearm, GL, another GL, Special GL, and Scout. So what I would do is I would look at my weapons. I know I have an energy GL already here. I have a tractor cannon for a shoddy or I could have one in the kinetic slot. I would need an LMG and a sidearm. So I would just go into my collections and for sidearm, just pick literally any random one. If you, I need arc kills. So I would pick up an arc SMG or a sidearm or use an arc scout like I mentioned earlier for that. Then I need a heavy GL so I could use anarchy or if my exotic slide is getting taken up by something else, I'll just use... Let's go with memory. Sure. Put that in my heavy slot. And then I should have every weapon available to me that I would need during a particular run. So me, I would probably start with any bounty that I have two of. So I have double GL here. So I'll go and put the GL on first as my primary weapon to land. And then I'll work, focus on that first just to get that two for one out of the way. So here we go, you just launch into the Adept Nightfall, and just for reference, this is what I'm going to be starting off with. The reason that I'm starting off with this stuff is because I have GL bounties, and uh, GL in the heavy slot particularly. Obviously, heavy ammo is limited unless you get good RNG drops, so I'm going to get the heavy kills out of the way first, because the first room or the strike has a ton of enemies already, so I just want to get out of the way, not worry about it. Then I'm doubling up on sidearm kills because I have not only sidearm bounties, but I also have arc bounties, at least two of them. So I'm going to get my sidearm and my arc kills all done immediately really quick. That's like a four for one. And then I also have at least two shotgun bounties to complete. So I'm going to get this done as well. And then once I rotate each of these out, so once I'm done with GL kills, for example, maybe I can switch to tractor cannon and double up on shotgun kills if I don't have any more shotgun ammo in my kinetic slot. Then once I'm done with sidearms, I will switch to scout because I know I need scout rifle kills. Additionally, I'm going to start with my grenade and my melee kills as well. So there's certain doorways in the beginning of the strike that will have, you know, like five plus enemies come out of there. I can throw a grenade in one of those doorways and get five grenade kills immediately, thus completing one of the Cosmodrome bounties instantly without me worrying about it. Little wave of enemies here, not anything crazy. You could do whatever you want with this whether you want to use heavy on them or not up to you and then when you start killing these first initial waves you're gonna start having marauders and the shanks spawning in this section over here so let me just put this captain so you see this doorway right here and that one over there that is when the next wave comes out again there'll be like five plus enemies coming out from here you have to kill the captains and a couple of the mandos to get that wave to spawn i believe so right here you see a bunch of shanks bam i throw a grenade that's instant free bounty right there shanks come out on this side as well and then i do whatever i need to do to get that done then the marauders come out the invis marauders and once you kill a certain amount of these marauders this is when the big chunky wave comes out in this door so you see a ton of enemies come out of this door this is where you take advantage of anything that you need a ton of kills for and you get them instantly so you know i can get like a bunch of melee kills done ability kills whatever it may be Super simple, that's like an easy 20 kills right there, especially if you need like a grenade bounty done. And then you make your way here slowly and slowly. I'm gonna look at my progress right here. So I have four out of five grenades done, so I need one grenade kill to get that done. Let me just throw a grenade here and a yeet. There you go, that's done, so I don't have to worry about that. Next, I'm just gonna worry about uh, my ammo running out, so bam, my shoddy ammo is out. 
it looks like my GL kills are done, so I can just switch from my GL to Tractor Cannon. I still need shoddy kills, so it's fine. Or rather, throw my hammer at this stuff, and then here come the Thrall. Alright, gather around gamers. Bam. And bam, free kills there. So, as you see, shoddy kills are done. Next, I can switch to my sidearm, or I can get ready to get my super kills done in the next wave, because the next wave has a bunch of knights anyway, so I might as well take out the adds and the knights with my super, because I need like five super kills. So we're going to do that. So here we go. Yellow bars, orange bars, whatever you want to call them. I needed five super kills, I believe, so there you go. This is also why I avoid the, the 25 super kill bounty, because it's just super annoying for no reason. I'd rather just not waste my time. So here you are in Skywatch. In Skywatch, the enemies literally never stop spawning. There might be times where you killed all of them and there's a little bit of downtime, but they will forever respawn the waves just like you were in a normal patrol. And in fact, my teammate seems to have followed me because he's level 2. So this section of the strike will have unlimited enemies and you can chill here for as long as you want. So if you have a fire team and you're like, all right guys, I'm going to stay here. You guys go inside and kill all the enemies in the garage. That way we're not stealing each other's kills and we're all optimizing our bounty completions. And that's essentially it for this part. You just divide your stuff, look at your bounties, see what you need. I needed five melee kills, so I said I'm going to go kill five dudes with my bonk hammer and get that done. Should be done right there. All right, next we have sidearm, precision, kinetic, and arc. So you can get like three bounties done there with a the sidearm. That's what I'm going to do. And essentially, you just keep doing that until it's boss fight time. And whatever you haven't completed by the time you get to the boss room, you start loading on that grocery list. Here we are at the end of the strike literally just finished and we're gonna show up the tally here in a second we got a whole enhancement core let's go all right so we have 4 8 12 16 20 24 26 and then we have these remaining one of them's cabal so i don't count that so we have 26 completed bounties plus you know a minute of completing these last ones a glaive lmg and uh, energy GL kills thing which technically doesn't even need to be done in a strike these can be done anywhere so that will be 29 total bounties completed once I complete those and that took me basically 12 minutes so after 12 minutes I'll have or let's run it to 15 just to be safe after 15 minutes I'll have 29 bounties to complete and um, let's uh, just get those done and then I'll hand those in and then you guys see how much I get from that here's the final step you take all your completed bounties and you join someone's fire team whether it be a friend or somebody you see in a patrol zone anywhere that's not orbit you join them and then when you land you should get a shared wisdom buff which will give you additional xp on top of that you also want to have a blinding light ghost on which gives you more xp so here's shared wisdom here get a bonus xp from that and then blinding light on your ghost which will give you 12 percent more on top of that so we're at uh 1.2 mill for xp here and we're gonna hand in our bounties this is one character's worth keep that in mind so here we go keep in mind this took me 15 minutes I'm not gonna hand in any weeklies just to preserve that so we are now at 1.43 million so we got over 200k experience and then Tow that over from three characters if you do all three that'll give us like let's say about 700k total you know adding up the change 700k total within 45 minutes just like that i would say that's pretty damn simple pretty damn easy and pretty damn effective at the bare minimum that's seven levels done in 45 minutes in one day for you so easy xp and then you can get to whatever light level you need doing that in three of the six weeks that I mentioned this season being Disgraced, Fallen Saber, and Devil's Lair. That's it for this one. Catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully I won't sound like D D Homer Simpson in those. Like, share, subscribe. Well, like I said, that's all the channel. Much appreciated. Stream daily on Twitch, as usual. Twitch.tv slash Beaver. Catch the link in the description. And uh, let me know what else you guys want to see video-wise for this season. Until then, <sighs> goodbye.